Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to the very final book haul of 2018. This is December's book haul and we are going to be here for a while. <laughs> I have loads and loads of books. I think I have over, I have at least four stacks of five, so I have over 20 books. Um, and we're going to go from basically the least expensive to the the most expensive. I'm going to put something in front of it. So, with absolutely no investment, <laughs> there, right off the bat, these are books, uh, these were gifts that I got in December. The first one was from my friend Sarah. It was Ober, Ober Newton. <laughs> I had a problem saying it in the actual video. It is hot out here. I've been running the heater, so don't mind the glisteniness. Um, Ober Newton by Isabel Carmody. Yeah. Um, I'll probably get to this one in the spring. Again, this was sent by my friend Sarah. Next up, a book that was sent from uh, a viewer by the name of Mitchell, or Mitch. This was The Night Parade by Ronald Malfi. I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to this one. In fact, this might be my first read of 2019. I am just trying to get through Bearskins by James A. McLaughlin right now, and then I'm going to jump into this one. Bearskins isn't a bad book, don't get me wrong. When I say I'm trying to get through it, um, I'm reading it in an ebook, and it's not a very pleasurable experience for me reading an ebook. Uh, next up, the rest, uh, not the rest, but the next three books are from my friend Terry. She sent me Meg Woolitzer's Sleepwalking. I guess I could put these up closer for you guys. And then she also sent me Jennifer Egan's A Visit from the Goon Squad. Alright. And then she sent me this one, which is The Criminalist by Eugene Izzy. Alright. And then got one more, which I put in the wrong place, Macbeth. By Yo Nesba. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one too. This will probably be my second read. Um, I'm going to try a January TBR this time on the channel. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not, but I'm going to give it a try. Mainly because usually when I try to do a TBR, uh, especially on the channel, I just don't. I don't do very well with it. Um, not that I don't. Uh, like the books that that I read, this is that I, I normally just end. I'm such a situational reader. Like a certain mood has to strike me before I end up picking up a book. It is hot out here. I'm glad I turned that heater off. All right, next up is a gag gift from a buddy Landon, uh, Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. I cannot stand this book, and Landon absolutely loves this book, um, and nobody knows why. I'm just picking on you, Landon. Yeah, that one. And then, uh, last, this one actually did, it wasn't really a gift, but I'm going to throw it in on the gifts anyways. Uh, I had, if you guys remember from last month's book haul, I picked up The Witches of Eastwick on Amazon, and it wasn't the copy I wanted. So my buddy Jen Bernardini uh, offered to send me this one if I bought her the Kindle version. So I bought her the Kindle version, and this isn't exactly the one that I was talking about. But it is a super rad uh, book club edition that I am very, very happy with. It's got some cool artwork on the back. Man, hot. Okay. So, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to move this up here. Move this right here. Next up, we have the books that I have for review. Um, these are books that were sent to me. Uh, either by authors or by publishers for me to review in the coming months. First one I'm really looking forward to is the continuation of Bubba Hotep and the Cosmic Bloodsuckers. My buddy Josh Jakuba, um, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying your name wrong or not, Jabkuga, I did say it, I, I said J Jakuba, that's not right, Jabkuga. Um, this is book, yeah, it's issue four, um, and it says, E, happy holidays to you and your family, Jay. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to get into this one. I've already reviewed the first, I guess the first three, um, issues. Next up, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get your name, last name wrong, so I apologize. J.D. Santa Banez, Santa Banez sent me his novel, The Magician, which looks pretty good. Um, it's got a very Leisure Press vibe to it, if you guys remember Leisure Press, but it's got a really cool cover, illustrated cover, 
Um, the back has got some artwork going on. Um, a lady with a, a crystal ball or something. I'm not sure. Uh, next up <clears throat> was something that I actually requested from the publisher after enjoying watching you by the same author. Uh, this is Then She... Then she was gone. Sorry, I stumbled on that. By Lisa Jewell. Uh, I asked. I told uh, my connection at Atria Publishing, uh, Simon and Schuster. I told. Uh, I think her name is Ariel. I told her I enjoyed, loved watching you. Uh, that sounded wrong, but I enjoyed that book. So uh, she asked me if I was interested in her last book. I said yes. Now, in my review of Watching You, I said she has done like 16, 17 novels before Watching You. Most of those, from what Eddie L. told me, were chick lit. Um, so I will probably only be reading her thrillers. Um, not that I don't mind, that, not that I hate chick lit or anything, but that's not, you know, one of my genres. And usually I tend to dislike it more than I like it. Last, uh, but not least, for the reviews, uh, Skybound Books, which uh, sent me... What was it? The Electric State by Simon Stallenhag sent me this one, The Obsoletes by Simeon Mills. It seems to be about uh, androids in a high school and the they are pretending to be kids and they don't want to be uh, singled out. I think it's it, there's allegory and metaphor for racism and xenophobia is I think is what is going on. Okay, so that's everything for review. Next up, we are going to, and that, why I did that second of the first ones I did for the gifts, because I have actually no, literally no investment in that, and the reviews, I'm spending my time. So next up, books that I got at the library, um, some of them were a quarter uh, trips throughout December, some, some of the time it was a quarter a book, some of the times it was fill up a bag for a dollar, um, and most of the time when we do that, we get the kids a lot of stuff um, because their children's books are children's books are always expensive. So we end up getting some YA for uh, Autumn and then some board books for Chris. If you would like to see those book hauls, let me know down there in the comments below. But okay, first we have the Shallows. Um, I am taking a break from social media right now, mainly because of this book, trying to prove this book wrong. But we're going to go into that more when I actually review this book. Um, it was the finalist for the Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize. Um, it is What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains, The Shallows. So yeah, I got this one for uh, it's either a quarter or it, was in, it doesn't really matter. I didn't spend more than a quarter for it. Uh, next up, we have, I got two books by this author, Jake J. McKinnery. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is Story of My Life. It's a very dark cover. I, I, sorry, y'all. My nose is itching. Story of My Life. It's very 80s. Um, this is not... It kind of looks like a Babysitter's Club kind of book. It is not... Uh, it's. I think it's literary fiction. Uh, it's by Vintage Contemporaries. And I know I've said this before, but anything by Vintage I will pick up. And here's another one, Brightness Falls by him. Same author, Jay McHenry, uh, also published by Vintage. Next up, I have, again from the library, Tex by, what is it, S.E. Hinton? Yeah. This is an author of The Outsiders, which is a great book, pretty good movie too. One of the only Tom Cruise movies I enjoy, mainly because he's not in it much. <laughs> I don't like, I do not like Tom Cruise. Alright, next up is uh, Frederick Bachman's Britt Marie was here. I got this, of course, because Bachman is hit or miss with me, and it was only, you know, a quarter, or it was part of the dollar bag. Um, so, I'm not going to take a huge chance on him. I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of money at him, but definitely something that I am willing to give him a chance. Next up, something, again, at the library. So, this is probably a donation, but it, this is a Book of the Month Club selection. Still Lives by Maria Hummel. Hamel? Hummel. Whatever. Um, this one just piqued my interest because of the gorgeous cover. And I've seen it around. Seen it all over the place, actually. I keep bumping into it, so maybe maybe that's fate trying to tell me to check it out. I've never heard of the author. I don't even know what the book's about, but it's super short. It's like 270 pages. Um, might as well give it a chance. And then, 
the last library book I have is something I'm taking off the sticker because it's going to annoy me. Um, it looks like an 80s horror thing, and I'm going to end up making more of a mess than, than I should trying to get that off while I'm talking to you guys. But it's Other Side. See that? That is a telephone, not a typewriter, by J. Michael <laughs> Straczynski. 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 <laughs> yeah, look at this utter pimp. Look at him. He's a mustache and everything, man. He is a straight-up pimp. This is like Dean Koontz's uh, older brother. <laughs> this guy, I bet you he is fantastic. This extraordinary novel takes us into a shadowy world beyond the supernatural. Dum dum dum. Yes, yes, yes. And one more face wipe before we jump into the final pile of books. I told y'all we were going to be here for a while. I am super excited. Uh, uh, now my nose is itching. I'm super excited about some of these. Um, I'm going to get rid of these two on top. These are Book of the Month Club selections um, for December. No exit. Um, the review for this will be up tomorrow. Spoiler alert, I didn't care for it at all. Um, next up, I got a absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. If you guys watch my Book of the Month Club, it's one of my funniest videos ever, I think, um, <laughs> where I ramble on and on about John Green thinking this is a John Green book when this is actually a Hank Green book. But I'm going to get to this hopefully in January also. Um, again, it, if you guys want to see the TBR videos from me, let me know down there in the comments. Um, I don't usually stick to them, but I can try. Maybe it'll, you know, maybe there will be more incentive for, you know, me to actually stick with the TBR and get things done if I actually, you know, call myself out every month. This one was something that I saw on, um, is one of those fortuitous this is serendipity whatever I saw this cover this cover right here I saw it on Instagram and then I hopped over to Twitter and a completely different person was talking about it on Twitter and then I go over to Amazon and I found it on sale um, this is on Andres Barba uh, translated by Lisa Dillman um, I'm not sure Barba where, where he's from what I think it's Hispanic uh, I'm not sure. Let's see here if I can see if I find the translated. Yeah, translated from the Spanish by, by Lisa Dillman. Um, I'm going to read the back of this to you, uh, and you can probably understand where why I, I grabbed this. Life changes at the orphanage the day seven-year-old uh, Marina shows up. She is different from the other girls, at once an outcast and object of fascination. As Marina struggles to find her place, she invents a game whose rules are dictated by a haunting violence. Written in hypnotic, lyrical prose, alternating between Marina's perspective and the choral we of the other girls, such small hands evokes the pain of loss and the hunger for acceptance. That choral we, I'm hoping that it alternates between this little girl and like a, a POV of just the the other girls as a whole as like their own organism that would be amazing um and not literally their own organism but as we look at the little girl and we all cringe or whatever um it's super short it's only 105 pages but it feels amazing i love the the cover i didn't know how great it felt but uh yeah it feels really good finally i have finally completed my mitakami collection with the final three books I needed. I now have all of his books that have this like rainbow theme kind of deal to abstract art or whatnot, whether it be cubists or uh, circles or whatever. This is The Elephant Vanishes, which I've already read, but I didn't have this this version of it. I had the ebook version. Um, so I got this one. I got this one I'm super excited for. Underground. The uh, the Tokyo Gas Attack and the Japanese Psyche. This is some of his nonfiction, but uh, I really wanted this this cover. They are going away pretty soon, and I'm st stoked that I got my hands. I had enough money to go ahead and grab enough extra money to go ahead and grab these. And then finally, which I have the, this in hardcover, but uh, here here the wind sing, and if you flip it, 
Pinball 1973. Sorry, I don't remember the, the I never remember the year. I always want to say 1979. But it's cool because if you read Pinball, it's one way. I don't know if you can tell. Try to get it in there. But then if you go back here to Wind, it's upside down. So you literally have to flip the book, hear the wind sing, Pinball. So it's, not, it's upside down if you just turn it that way. You have to actually flip it. So, yeah, my collection is finally complete. One of these days, I will show you guys my complete collection. I do, there are two more books that I need from him. The Secret Library and uh, one about music. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's one about music. And once I get those two, I will have all of Murakami's stuff. And I can finally do uh, what I've been wanting to do, which is the Murakami uh, Theorist uh, series. So, yeah. Please leave your own December book hauls down there in the doobly-doo. Dustin, my man, I don't... Were you here for November? I can't remember if you were or not. Um, but everybody, please, if especially if you have a video of it, let me know down there in the comments below. Link me to it, and let's share each other's hauls. Um, let's talk about what you got. What are some of the f your favorite books that you bought this year? I'd love to know that stuff, too. Um, your favorite book of the month uh, buy, any of that stuff. If, if I had to go with my favorite book of the month club buy this year, it'd probably be... Um, I don't I don't remember. I can't remember. Maybe the David Joy one that I haven't even read yet. I was just happy to see it there. But anyways, until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been the last book haul and video of 2018. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.